Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I am Subhash Chandra. In this video, let me explain how one should read from book to understand about the design concepts. Because reading from book is not a simple task. You need to have some plan. You need to have some organized method in order to constructively learn uh, the design part. Because you are not reading a novel, right? So you are reading a design. Uh, through this learning, you have to implement your design to somewhere else actually. So you really have to have a constructive plan in order to learn constructively. Only then you will be able to apply constructively actually. If you learn a random ways, you will not be able to understand the overall concept. So basically how to make use of it, how to read the book in order to understand the design concept effectively. That's the intent of this video. Without wasting your time, let's get started. Say for an example, uh, if you are interested in piping design and wants to learn the piping design concepts, then I would strongly prefer the first three books that I've already recommended. You can watch this video for those three books actually. There are uh, n number of books that I've recommended, but I would strongly prefer for beginners to read the first three books uh, in a systematic way. So that is what I'm going to explain you how to read the books in a systematic way. But you can choose the, uh, the, the top three books in order to uh, start reading the books basically. So let's get started for this video. How to read the books in a way to understand the design concepts. So first thing, if you pick one book, as a beginner, the first step what you have to do is that just blindly run through and give a free reading from the chapter one to the end actually. Do not think about anything. Just give a free reading and just try to understand how much you can observe. See, this first run through is just to ensure that you will have a glance of the chapters basically. You will have an idea about the structure of the book. So you will not be wondering about where this information, this information is missed and that is not available, this is not available. So once you go through a run through of the book, you have to read line by line. I'm not saying that you can simply skip. I want you to read line by line, but without any hesitation, without any hold, you should run from the page one to the end of the book actually. So by this you will get a clarity and the at least you will remember the content of the book. You will know how the book has been entirely returned basically. So that's how it is. Second important thing. So now you have read the complete run through. You have gone from the top to the bottom of the book basically. Second is you must choose your area of interest. See. Uh, as a beginner, I would strongly recommend you to start from the chapter one. Okay, so but if you are already an experienced, you are uh, aware about certain areas in piping design, then you can choose the area of interest. If the book consists of 10, 15 chapters, you can choose your favorite chapter. Okay, from the favorite ch chapter, our method actually starts basically. So if you are a beginner, then starts from the chapter one, and if you are experienced, you can choose a uh, your area of interest which is basically a chapter wise uh, the reading basically so uh, let's assume that you are a beginner and you are starting from a chapter one now we are moving to the third stage what is third stage prepare notes you guys have to prepare notes for each chapters only then you can ensure that you have read this concept properly see if you don't start writing and don't start taking notes actually you will not be able to clarify your technical points because if you are taking a notes which says that you understood something see if you don't take notes and you will not be able to say that you understood something you cannot memorize all the points taking a notes at the beginning uh, of your career is really important to understand the concept because this is the notes that you are going to refer year after year month after month and if you whenever you face some troubles actually you will be able to revise it your subject basically you are going to prepare your own notes and your own book so that you can refer in future so preparing notes is the third stage but you also have to highlight the concerns concerns in the sense Let's say you started with the chapter one and you don't understand a particular concept. You have to raise the number of concerns. In the same note, you put, this is the information that I do not know. Say for an example, why did the headroom clearance are maintained? You have to understand it, write it. Your, and the third, why insulation is provided for a line? What type of insulation needs to be provided actually? What type of support needs to be provided? If you do not have a clarity, you have to write it and keep it in as a clarification. So this is the third step. Now we have to go to the fourth stage. What is fourth stage? Fourth stage is about clarifying your concerns because you have recorded something in your previous stage in the third stage, right? 
have recorded some concerns. Those concerns needs to be clarified. Otherwise, you will not be able to get the clarity in your mind actually. So what are the ways to clarify your concerns? The first thing is that you can um, refer lots of articles which are available in the Google, uh, which could be in the form of books, in the form of YouTube, in the form of any other article by means basically. Uh, simply you have to refer the materials and you have to find the materials which are relevant for your concerns so that you can clarify. Second way is that if you are already working in a company, you can check the drawings available, existing drawings available so that you want, you will be able to get an idea about how it actually implemented in the design that gives you a, a, a pinpoint directly uh, the good answer for uh, what your concern is all about basically. This is one of the second method. And the third method is that you can directly speak to the experienced person so that you will simply able to get the answer in a short time. So you don't have to wait in time actually. But most of you uh, would not able to get this um, experienced people access basically because some of you are beginners and not in job and maybe in a job where you don't get proper response. This all things may happen. So, but this is a way actually. So, if you have a concern, read articles and refer existing drawings and speak to an experienced guy. This is the way you can clarify. But concerns needs to be clarified. See, if you are determined, you will be able to find the source. And if you are not determined, you will not be able to find the source. Sitting simply just because uh, saying that that uh, you uh, don't have any friends in piping, you don't have any person known in piping, that's not the solution. You can find a lot of people in LinkedIn. That's one of the uh, open social media platform which is available for those who are uh, who want to grow in, in, in a particular profession basically. So you utilize that option and try to engage with any experienced guy so that you can clarify your doubts. So this is the fourth stage. The fifth stage is the last stage. You have to assure your clarity. So how to assure the clarity? Read the book again. You read the book right from the chapter one to the end and ensure that you understood each and every point of the book actually. Because as a beginner, you have read something. So at that point of time, you, you had a lot of concerns. You have a lot of clarification. You clarified many things. Now, the moment you read in the second time, actually, you will be able to understand the clarity of this particular subject. Even if you still have some concerns, again, you repeat the cycle. That is how you keep on developing yourself, actually. Maybe the beginner kind of doubts may not be there in the second reading. So in the third reading, uh, the kind of doubts you had in the second reading may not be there. You are slowly improving a day by day for uh, in every reading. So your thought process increases, your technical expertise is getting developed actually, and you are uh, being experienced in, in every reading. So in the last stage, you have to assure the clarity. How to assure the clarity? Read the book once again and ensure that you understood all your concerns and you have the answers for all your clarification. So these are the five stages you can really make use of by reading the book to understand the design concepts in piping design engineering. So I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandran. Thank you so much for watching my video.